Hello everybody, Azumi here, and I'm going to do Infinitely Wise Mimir Strikes. I actually didn't realize I have never done a video on this before, so I'm going to go ahead and do one. I'm using uh, Niji, Asuka, Berserker Bear, Thor, and Fae. So let's go ahead and do the fight and I will show you the equipment I'm using after that. Alright, so for the most part on this fight, it's not too bad. Um, really you gotta get rid of the two green crystals that are directly next to Mimir to make it a lot easier. I usually leave it on auto until the limit breaks about the proc and then I always use phase all right there we go always use phase because it it tends to crush the crystals pretty much it does a massive amount of damage to them makes the fight a lot easier and once they're gone, Mimir usually goes down pretty quick. She doesn't have a lot of health. And the main thing is just fire fire attack. You do not want to use any kind of magic attack, period. As you notice, I'm using all melee characters. I have decent enough equipment to where I don't even have to worry about a healer. So most people are going to have to use either Balder or Erd. Balder works really good in this fight because he is naturally earth-based and magic-based, so he doesn't take a whole lot of damage from Mimir. But if you have decent enough equipment, you don't even need a healer. There we go. Use phase limit break again. That crushed both crystals closest to her. Which makes her go down a lot faster. Couple more hits and it should be it for round two. with the last part almost dead just got I'll probably be able to use a limit break one more time there we go get rid of these two crystals and then she should be bye bye I think Mimir's get, I heard talk of she's getting an awakening pretty soon, so that's pretty cool. Maybe she'll inflict Earth Wound like she does on my on your characters. There we go. Almost got her, almost got her. Come on, get her with the elite a minute and a half left. Nope, almost couple seconds short I was six seconds short of having a minute and a half left oh well okay so now I'll look at the damage output as always Faye did the most amount of damage and really she set up as a support character so that's pretty weird it's mainly because she crystal crushes that's why she's got such a high damage dealt but Mimir, Mimir herself doesn't have a lot of health. Alright, so let's go check out the equipment that I have on my characters. Okay, so we'll start off with Niji. I have on her Crystal Armor, Nordicia Shield, Winged Helmet, a Druid's Cloak, a Sinir High Ring, 
pen pen earrings, a ring of Niflung, and a bangle of faith. On Asuka, I have a celestial helmet, the red space, red race suit, not space suit. It looks like a space suit. Um, Asuka Zwee knives and a doggy paddle, a bangle of strength, bangle of health, bangle of conflict, and the night leaf ring. With Berserker Bear, we have another set of Asuka Zwee knives, uh, Wild Axe X, Wild Axe, and a Heavenly Straw Hat for some healing. Ring of Niflung, Bangle of Strength, Bangle of he Faith, and the Night Leaf Ring. On Thor, I have the Brave Sword, the Spine Crusher, a Yagdrasil Blade, a Winged Helmet. A blood gem ring, a bangle of faith, a bangle of health, strength, and the night high leaf ring. And the last one is Fay, and on her I have a burning axe, a Yagdrasil blade, the pink nurse's outfit, and her dragon gauntlets, as well as a night leaf ring, bangle of strength, bangle of faith, and a purity ring. So that's my setup for running Ramir. I'm able to run it just completely on solo. I don't even have to run it manually at all. And I usually have about a minute and a half left every time. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a good day.